Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about opening ports. Specifically, we're literally just going to be showing you how to open ports. Um, I do want to note that I have AT&T um, and I do have a different modem. This should generally get you to most of uh, your needs and your requirements. So this is going to show you specifically on an AT&T, but if you watch it, you could probably generally find it in most any other modem. But the first thing you need to do is find out your home IP address. Um, pretty much in general or your I'm sorry not your home IP address you need to find your modems IP address the standard one is 192.168.1.254 which I have in here you hit enter on it and it'll pull up your internet stuff here now um, I've got a bunch of stuff blocked off on this screen this is just to simply block off my information because this is my home internet so I don't want to have it in access in there in here then we need to go ahead and jump into our firewall to open up ports um, what's immediately going to happen is you're going to get this firewall status and you're looking for NAT slash gaming. This is pretty in general, the standard uh, tiers within it. As I said, this is within AT&T. All AT&T routers will go this way. Uh, when it comes to Comcast and stuff, it's still under the same tabs. They just might look a little bit different. Once you get in here, it does require an access code. Uh, I'm going to punch in that access code really quick here so that all of you can go ahead and get in there. But if you need to find it, it shows you on this picture. You can see it down there. It shows you it's right on the sign. It says access code. It's normally a little bit of numbers um, and some symbols is the standard one. But go ahead, put that access code in and we'll get into it really quick. So here we are in our access code. Um, as I said, I do have a couple things. Um, I have nothing really covered here. Um, and that's because this is a lot of my seven days in arc server stuff that I have on here. You can see those ports are already available. Now I do have them on a different IP on a static IP. Uh, so those won't show when I go into this, but basically what you need to do is you need to go ahead and find and create the ports you want, right? So whatever port you want, you go into custom. You just need to name it. The name doesn't matter. I do want to note though, you cannot do a number first in most of these. So we'll just do a tutorial ports right and then from here all you need to do is simply enter in the, the range that you need um, if you need tcp or udp um, tcp is normally your download it's the best i'm going to put it simply tcp is normally your download udp is kind of your upload um, i'm not going to break down exactly what those are if you're looking up something specifically it should tell you very specifically what you need so if you just google simply put arc ports to be open it will show you right if you're dead hosting a dedicated server it's a little bit more complicated um and that's where you have to follow a guide but this is just to show you how to open the ports once you've found the ports that you need to open so simply put you just put in the numbers here so like we want to do um 7000 to 7002 and then my base port is this first number right here so we just do 7,000, and if you want to do both, that's fine. You can do TCP or UDP alone, uh, and then you simply hit add. All that does is it adds the opportunity for you to um, add the ports, right? So they're just now a, a coded name, right, where they can go, and you have to attach that to a specific device, right? So what you do is you go into your device information, and then you have to find, um, as I said, this is all going to be blacked out, but you're going to see a bunch of information on here. It's the name of the component. So if it's an Xbox or something like that, it will say Xbox. Um, if you need to know it by IP, you can do that. But you select the device you need to find. You click on it. Once you've clicked on the device, right, um, you just go ahead and hit add. And once you've clicked on the add, it literally adds on those ports. Those ports are now open on that de device specifically. Um, two points of note, you cannot have multiple devices with the same open ports on the same internet. So if you have two Xboxes and you're trying to open both ports, you cannot do that. You are required to have a static IP in order to do that. I'm not gonna get into what that is. I'm just giving you the important information you need to know here, which is simply put, you can only open ports on one device at a time. Once again, you can only open ports on one device at a time. You cannot have it on multiple devices. So if you have multiple devices that need the same ports open, you have to get a static IP. But once you've done that, all you simply need to do is reset that device. It should then pull the ports from the um, 
router. Uh, if it does not pull it because it didn't update for some reason, you just need to restart your router. But first, you should just restart that device and check if they're open. Many of the times it will grab it from the information from the modem because it gets fully shut down and fully shut down, by the way. Don't restart. You literally need to shut it all the way down and boot it all the way back up, just as a note. So make sure you do that. That will get you your ports. You can have as many ports as you want open. Just make sure you're putting the right ports open that you need. But that is simply how you do it here. That is as as easy as it gets for you, then just make sure you log out of your stuff and you do everything you need to do. But I hope this video helped you. If it does, please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, you can leave them down in the comments. I will do my best to answer all of them. But I hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.